Welcome to this week's painting update. Uh, mostly this week I've been painting some Elizabethans, but I've also done some other stuff um, and I'm going to start with that because I painted it first. So first up are a set of female pirates from Black Scorpion. Uh, these are resin castings um, and I got them for this one here. the well fleshed out pirate lady. Um, I've got a lot of black scorpion pirates, but I didn't paint any of them. They were painted for me by um, Andy McDonald Rice. So these are the first ones I've actually painted myself. Um, and I must say, much as I like the figures, they don't actually suit my painting style. So uh, I'm not sure I'll be getting more. Well, I, I will get more, but I'm, I certainly won't be painting them myself. Um, however, they were fun to do, and uh, I've now got four more female pirates to add to the to the gang. As well as the pirates, I got some, uh, I guess, horror miniatures uh, from Black Scorpion. So um, on on the left here, there's uh, there's a priest with a shotgun. Um, he's another version of my long-running Call of Cthulhu player character, Reverend Whipple. Um, there's a modern, modern looking witch with her cat in the middle. And then there's, let's just turn him a little bit, get a better picture. There's the Plague Doctor, which was, um, free if you spent, I think, £25. Um, and I'd have got him anyway, because he's quite lovely. Um, can we get a, let's get a, there he is. So he's got like a sort of voodoo doll and a canary and his, his mask. So he's quite nice. Um, I don't actually have a... I do have a Plague Doctor. I have a Reaper one, but they're always useful. So there we go. Three more um, horror pulp miniatures, also from Black Scorpion. The Elizabethans I got come from Foundry. So I bought two packs of six. Um, these are metal miniatures. They're really nice. Um, Good, good detail, lots of character, not too much detail, which would make them um, a pain to paint. Um, uh, my only criticism, I think, with these is they, there's no guns. Um, one of them, right in the end here, this sort of full staff type character. He has a gun in his belt, but everyone else just got sword. Um, but that doesn't matter. They're still really, really nice miniatures. Um, I think 12 is enough for me. Uh, I don't think I'd, I'd paint any more. Uh, there is a set with some women in, which I might get, I suppose. Um, they didn't take as long to do as I thought they would. I got all 12 done in three painting sessions. So, um, so there we go. Um, 12 Foundry Elizabethans. And to round off the painting this week, um, I got a very nice angel statue from Fenris Games, um, which of course is pretty easy to do, so I just fitted that in where I could. Um, and that will join my ever-growing range of, of statues. Um, I backed a Tom Arillion Kickstarter earlier this year. Um, and I've got a load of statues from that. So now I've got another one. Um, very nice. I think the angel's done by Ristool Creations. Um, either way, uh, it's a lovely piece. Okay, that's it for this week. Um, just a short one, really. Um, I suppose that's what happens when I paint a lot of miniatures from the same set. There's not an awful lot to say about them. So, um, as always, thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you next time.